And there is breaking news tonight at the Harriman State Office Campus in Albany. Police and fire officials clearing the scene now after an explosion at Building 12, the State Labor Department building. Two workers were hurt there in that explosion tonight. Good evening. I'm Greg Floyd. And I'm Dory Marlin. Our reporter Craig Smith is at the state campus tonight, and he's joining us live as we continue to get more details about this breaking news story. All right, Craig, fill us in on what happened there tonight. Hi, Greg. Hi, Dory. Uh, we talked to the uh, battalion chief for this part of Albany, uh, Mike Burns. He gave us an idea of what happened here, a pretty good detailed account of what happened. Uh, it ended up with two people who were injured, two workers, two men who went to Albany Medical Center. No word on their condition. Listen to Chief Burns now explain what happened. We received uh, an alarm for an explosion here at Building 12 with injuries. We uh, re received the call approximately uh, 812, I'm sorry, 802. Uh, we we're on the scene within several minutes. First companies arrived to find uh, a couple injured workers, uh, pretty serious injuries, nothing life threatening and an exploded tank. Uh, it's a tank of a product called Halon, which is uh, an extinguishing agent that's been outdated for years. It uh, used to be used in computer rooms. Told us the idea with that product was it would put the fire out, but it wouldn't damage the computers that were in the computer rooms. No word on exactly what caused the explosion. You saw that picture, that blue tank there that's in the back of the van that you can see behind me there. Uh, it's marked with the name of a company out of Clifton Park, uh, Simplex Grinnell. I put a phone call in there earlier tonight trying to get some information from the people who might be there about uh, how their people are doing, first of all, and also more information about uh, how they came to get this job and remove this tank here tonight. No one there who could answer any questions for us, so we'll keep trying to get more details on that for you. Uh, possibly tomorrow or overnight. Still no word on exactly uh, what the condition is of these two workers here. We'll be working on getting that for you as well. We're live in Albany, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.